welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to my kitchen whoever doesn't know me my name is Svetlana and today we're gonna make a very simple and delicious fast fried mushrooms uh, with uh, butter onion garlic dill lemon zest a little bit of apple cider vinegar and it's gonna be amazing who loves mushrooms it's simple delicious oh my god so let's begin by go over the ingredients. I have around 550 to 600 grams of mushrooms. Uh, the small one I'm not gonna cut, but the bigger one I'm gonna cut in half. We will need our dill as much as you want. Around 30 grams of butter, like three, four tablespoons of butter, one onion that I'm gonna slice, zest of half a lemon, about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and I have here six cloves of garlic, because I love garlic, I love that taste. You may use a little less, and the frying oil. So let's begin by getting everything. Large mushrooms, I'm just gonna cut in half. And the little ones, I'll leave like that. Bobby, you're not eating mushrooms. Say hi to everybody. Okay, Samuel, so show him. He loves the attention, and more the attention, he loves food. Okay. Uh, when we cut our uh, mushrooms, right away we put our skillet to a high flame because we need it to get really, really hot. And uh, come to my stove with me. So my skillet is very hot and I'm adding about a, a tablespoon of oil, not too much. And to that I'm adding my mushrooms. And you hear that sizzling right away. So. I needed them to be in one layer, but I got a little bit more. Okay, guys, leave it, do not touch it. We need to get them kind of like seared on both sides. And we don't add no salt now because we don't want that juice to be released. Let it sear for a few minutes and then I'll show you the rest. I fried my mushrooms for about five minutes, did not touch them. So now they kind of seared. Now, I want to flip them to another side. I mean, I can flip each of them, but kind of try to do it. Try to get the other side seared. Also, just flip them and let them do, let them cook for, for about another two, three minutes. They are already seared on both sides. I was trying to get as much as both sides that I could. We add our onion. You may add a little less, but I love that fried onion. I like a lot of it. But we concentrate here on the garlic, actually. It's a buttery, garlicky flavor. But this onion, now it's gonna get all the brown bits from the bottom, and it's gonna be so, so, so good. Okay, and we'll let it go for about another four to five minutes. I totally forgot to chop my garlic. So while everything is cooking, we're chopping our garlic. I just chopped my dill, so don't mind if you have, if you see these little greens on my cutting board. Don't forget to mix the mushrooms. And now is the perfect time actually to add my butter. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter because I have kind of a lot of my mushrooms. These mushrooms gonna have buttery flavor. With a little combination, mushrooms and butter. And onion and garlic. I cooked my onion for about three minutes. And I'm adding my garlic. And right now, as soon as you add your garlic, oops, you lower the heat a little bit and you cook it for about two minutes so you get your garlic release all that, that juice. smells amazing. it's amazing yeah garlic butter <laughs> what could be better than this so two minutes with garlic and now i use a zest of half a lemon just the yellow part just a little bit just to give that a little bit of hint if you don't like the lemon hint you may skip that stuff, but it gives like a that beautiful, beautiful extra flavor. Just a little bit. We don't need much. 
Okay. Mix everything. Mm. And the smell is phenomenal. Phenomenal, guys. Oh my god. And also, I use apple cider vinegar. You may use white wine, you may use lemon juice, a little bit of acidity, but I like apple cider vinegar. It just gives a very nice taste. Like on the corners, about one tablespoon. And that's it. You mix everything for about a minute, maybe less, a few seconds. And now I'm gonna add salt and pepper. A salt and pepper to taste guys I don't know how much you got to do it and then you got to try it and also at this point you could add other spices actually thyme fresh thyme would be phenomenal here I don't have it you could use dry thyme as well I'm gonna skip it today but thyme tastes phenomenal with mushrooms okay guys about 30 seconds and it's done. And we're gonna add our fresh dill. Actually, I'm gonna add half of my fresh dill I'm gonna add now, and then I'm gonna leave a little bit more for garnish. And how everything looks so beautiful with greens. Mm. At this point, we could turn off the flame because our delicious mushrooms are ready. Guys, from all these mushrooms, we don't have that much. So this is all we have. I'm gonna transfer it to a serving plate. That's it. That's what happens to mushrooms. They are so delicious, but then it's so little of them. Little dill for decoration. And uh, voila. I'm sure a lot of you want to try my mushrooms with me, but it's gonna be only me and Samuel because Samuel did the work, he did the recording. So now for you to try the mushrooms, you gotta do the work, you gotta make it, and it's not really much work. If you love mushrooms like I do, this recipe, will just make you fall in love with me because it's just so good. Trust me. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta eat them. They're so good. Okay guys, thank you so much. Oh too. Because I always talk on it too. Mmm. They're still hot. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm waiting for the comments in the comment section down below. And leave some thumb up and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. And have a great the rest of your day. Bye.